welcome back to Zach of All Trades. Today my family is out and about doing stuff and they left me at home entirely unsupervised. Like I don't even know what to do with myself. Oh hey wait a minute, I have an idea. I have this new electric screwdriver and a whole bunch of screws to remove. So today I'm going to try to make a little bit of progress on the giving trailer. As a recap, here's where the project stands. The entire interior has been gutted out. The commode, well, it's been dismounted, but doesn't fit out any of the holes, so I'm going to have to wait until I've opened up a wall to get it out. So, basically, what's left, or at least the step at this point, is to remove all the outside, remove all the siding, so that way I can take out all the wood and put it into my firewood bin. First goes all the doors, windows, and all the stuff attached on the outside. camper wasn't so stable. What do you think? Now if there ever was any question about the quality of worksmanship and the upgrades over the years, this little camper, let this go ahead and put all those to rest. It does not get any better than this. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thing I got two batteries with my free screwdriver. myself a little bit of a problem you see now that I've removed all the doors and all the windows I have removed almost all of the stability of this whole camper now the next problem is the fact that the roof is going to be held on by some screws which is going to require me to get up on top of the roof I don't want to get up on top of the roof if it's not going to be held up with any but anything besides a few toothpicks and tin foil. So I'm going to leave you with a question. How do you think that I ought to handle this? Should I try to climb up on a ladder and go around the edges reaching 
way over into the middle of the roof should I go ahead and risk it and go ahead and climb up there and, and risk having this thing cave in on me or maybe remove all the siding and then chop it down, chop down the, uh, the remaining wood that's holding it together. Really not quite sure what to do. So if you would leave me a suggestion down in the comments, I would really love to hear your input, hear your take on this. And um, yeah, so I'll be back real soon and we'll try to do the next phase of this. Now I kind of have to do it because, well, as it sits, this thing's kind of a safety hazard for my kids and my family and such. So give me your comments quickly. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Give it the thumbs up if you did. Give it the thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe. I'd love to have you stick around. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next video.